almost there. We got 18 minutes. <laughs> no pressure. It's crazy. And it always been crazy. It's just gotten crazier. Christmas is big time for everybody. So the retail at Christmas time is just crazy beyond words. I say we probably see about 10,000 people in that week. And we basically supply 10,000 people with Christmas dinner, Christmas Eve dinner, New Year's. But we love what we do. It's a family affair. My mother, my David's mother-in-law jump in and babysit the kids and, and we're just pretty much here. Merrick is actually a town in Long Island, New York, and that's where we were brought up. So they moved to Florida in 1992. They started Merrick Seafood, a little fish market down the road. It was tiny, and we sold fish to Cape Coral. It's three businesses operating under the one. Um, we have the retail market, which supplies fish to the public. We also have the wholesale department. We supply over 250 restaurants with their seafood. And then we have the restaurant. <laughs> One thing we pride ourselves on is family here. I work side by side with my husband, I work side by side with my sister, I work side by side with my brother-in-law. And at the end of the day, we all love each other and we have a ball with fish. <laughs> you got a hook? Dave does just about everything. He basically runs the entire operation on the floor back there. A lot of people don't realize what goes into that grouper sandwich that you're eating. Okay, the grouper's gonna be in the back on the pallet. Probably people will say, hey look, I'm looking for this specific fish. Uh, can you find it? And of course, it's my job to find it. So I gotta call around and I got so many vendors and you gotta call here and call there. Sometimes it's domestic, sometimes it's imported. You know, you gotta work through all those holes and loopholes to try to find the specific one that he wants and then bring that in. And then on top of that, not only can you just bring in a fish, but it's got to be Merrick's quality. He also does cut quite a bit of the, the higher end fish, the larger fish. So we like our fillets to be really nice, shaped good, and pretty looking. You know, so when you open a chef opens it up, not only does, is the smell amazing, but also the look of the fillet is good. He's got a huge part in what we do here. We really couldn't do anything without him. I try to do everything. This place is, we got a, a small facility with a bunch of people and a bunch of work going on. And, and I sort of here to make sure everything runs smoothly. <laughs> we get here about 3 or 3.30 in the morning. This is where everything gets cut, uh, gets packaged for our uh, restaurants and all of our other accounts. I mean, we're almost at 250 restaurants that we provide. So um, we're doing that with six people in the house, you know, cutting, Packing, shipping, all of it. You're in the hole now. All right. Go. Go. I guess my responsibility is more global in nature. I do bill pay, overseeing the managers. Unfortunately, a lot of time spent with my nose to the computer, as you have noticed throughout your stay here. Go. What's next? We're all family here. My parents started this company. Our younger sister as well, she's been here for years. All of our employees that come in become family. Carrie does so much. You probably don't have enough time for that footage. She wears so many hats around here. I live my life one hour at a time. Um, I say it's like the circus, you know? <laughs> I leave one circus and I go to another circus. This has to be packaged up. These. Wait, no, we need to cook them all. So let's start with the two. If you want to do that, maybe we'll do that. I'll have you help me on that side. Is that cool? Come on, let's go. On the retail market side, we have one case that's strictly just uh, fresh fish that's filleted daily. And then on the other side, we have a whole section of We Make You Bake. I found that there's a lot of people that don't know what to do with seafood. We made it really easy. We give you a baking tin, um, full instruction, sauce, it goes right in your oven. We make it easy. We make it, you bake it. We buy the only the freshest. Fresh to me is day boat stuff. It gets caught, it comes in, it comes right into me, it gets cut and it goes out. There's nothing that's here that is held for days on, on end. Everything gets brought in on a daily basis. So if 
the fishermen go out and it's bad weather, like right now, like it's kind of breezy out right now. If it's bad weather, fish is gonna be tight. Uh, they have shrimp boats that come in actually right down the street as well that we buy from. So those guys, those guys go out, they stay out for a couple weeks, they come back in. When they have that offload, they give us a call. They say, hey, we got the shrimp is coming into town. All right, let's go. And we go down there and we pick it up. Eight ounces, so half a pound? Nationally and globally, they've taken a big steps to um, increase the aqu aquaculture, the farming of fish. Now they're farming tuna, they're farming all sorts of different species that the earth couldn't keep up with. So that's a very good thing. So that makes me feel better about the future. A lot of the, these species are sustainable now, where five, seven years ago they were on the endangered list or close to it. And now they're noticing the, the repopulating because there are farmed options. It was just supposed to be like a little uh, takeout business, you know, like just lunch, takeout lunch place. And, and, and of course the natural progression has become a restaurant, but we weren't, I don't know, necessarily know if we were like completely ready for the explosion of business and the explosion of people coming into our place. We put in a couple tables as like a waiting area as you're waiting for your lunch. Well, people started sitting down, like waiting for servers to come and we didn't have any servers here. We didn't, we didn't have anybody. You know, so, you know, I'm out there at the table saying, hey, how can, and we're trying, I'm calling my supplier saying, hey, I need silverware. I don't even have silverware here, you know. Well, people love it, first of all. If you go on TripAdvisor, you'll see many, many wonderful reviews. I'm from New England. I'm from Massachusetts. So back there, you know, fish and chips, big staple, fried scallops. All the food is fresh, obviously. The fish and chips is fresh cod. Now we got, you know, 100 seats or so, and it's slammed every day. And they, had, they come in with a great experience. You know, it's not just a, you come in and you eat some fish and you go. Like, the service there is amazing. Uh, the decor is awesome. So it's an entire dining experience with us. It's not just uh, food on a plate. Christmas time basically is pretty much the busiest time of year. It is crazy. Um, we have people that are lined out the front door uh, waiting to come in like an hour before we're open. That counter gets pretty crazy. We usually have um, about 10 to 15 people up there and a prep crew working behind the scenes to load and get everything going. You know, so we get very busy, especially on the retail side. The wholesale is pretty busy as well, but our retail side is completely bananas. I think we always refer to it as controlled chaos, and it's not even that controlled. Every direction, 100 miles an hour, you don't, you don't think it's possible, but you, you end up pulling it off. But it's fun. The energy is great. When you see 30 faces looking at you, you just grab whoever you can and we do what we got to do. We get it done. <laughs> and what we do is three days before, like, I'll buy a bunch of fish. Like, we're going to have a massive shipment for two days coming in, like, steady. And we're here from, like I said, 3.30 in the morning, and we're gonna process until it's done. And it could be, we could be here for two days straight, or we could be here for 22 hours, or however, however long it's gonna be, we gotta get it done. Everybody is just running everywhere. Everyone here, everyone that works here is doing everything. Now on top of that is the kicker. We have to do the wholesale as well. And everybody's busy at this time, so it's not just the retail part, which is busy in its own right. Wholesale is completely bananas too. Push and push and push until it's done. And then we sleep a little bit and we do it all over the next day again. It's two weeks of hell in a joy bag. It's Christmas time, it's New Year's, everybody's celebrating, but we're in here, the family's in here, I mean, crying because we're so busy, you know? And we, you wind up at the end of two weeks dragging, you know, dragging your butt across the, you know, across the table, just going, oh, are we done yet, are we done? But it's all hands on deck no matter what you have going on in your outside world, and if you're gonna be part of the Merrick family, you're gonna be here all week that week. So everybody's having these big, lavish parties. They want uh, platters going out, seafood platters. You can pretty much get anything on a platter. Um, when I started seven years ago, it was shrimp on a platter. So I kind of ventured out and started putting different things, and tuna, and salmon, and lobster tails. Um, we do snow crab cocktail claws, stone crab. And if somebody asks and they have a great idea, you know, we'll give it a try. And eventually they've evolved over the years to some pretty amazing, beautiful platters, which I'm very proud of. 
I usually have an assembly line because we're usually in the hundreds on the platters. Um, every day there's stacks of orders and I've learned over the years to make it as efficient as possible is to lay out the paper, write down what goes on, put them down and just have everybody start banging them out. It takes quite a few hours but I have a really great team and, and we do great things. 580A, 580A, bingo. I love when I hear people tell me how happy they are that made my Christmas or we had a phenomenal wedding. That stuff really makes my day. I had someone say to me last week, you were just so happy that you're here. You're the best thing that ever happened to Cape Coral. And it's, it's very, it makes me very happy because we worked really hard to get to this point. And when I hear that, it makes me feel like what I'm doing, you know, is a good thing. Hey, see, Uncle, Uncle Tommy, Tommy Lee. Lee. Okay, hold on one second, Uncle Tommy Lee. Let's make sure that everything yeah. is You're all set. During Christmas time, we have to get the kids together because the whole family's here. All the grandmas come in, and both grandmas come in. We, uh, you know, everybody comes in to try to help out with the kids because. Everybody else is working. So as crazy as it is here, it's definitely crazy over there for the mothers as well, <laughs> with three kids. The grandmas love, love, love doing what they do, so it makes us feel really good to know we can come here and do what we have to do. You know, I hear stories, you know, about what goes on with the grandmas. My son is, he's a three and a half year old little boy. He's as mischievous as they come. He finds it very funny when you step outside and he locks you out of the house. But it's gotten to the point where my mother's had to go to the neighbors and call my husband. There's no keys, so yes, you were witness to one of his episodes. <laughs> You know, family's family. It's great working with family. I mean, we got our times, but we got a little spets, you know, here and there. But I mean, it's everybody is here for a goal. We're, we're here to work hard. Uh, we back each other up when we need to, and you know, and we have fun while we do it. It is awesome working with my husband. Um, you know, I always heard that many people can't do it, and we totally can. Once you come on board, you know, you look out for us. We look out for you. You become part of the family. We have quite a few employees that have been here seven years. 10 years, 12 years, um, they become like family. And we look out for them like family and vice versa. You know, count my blessings daily that we are so fortunate to have such a good, you know, support system here from Carrie's mom on down to my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law. Um, my wife obviously is just phenomenal. So it's, uh, we're very blessed. At the end of a hard week or hard weeks, you know, we all gather up and hug each other like, hey, we. We made it, man. We did it. We did it through it. Another year. Let's go. Let's let's back it up. Let's do it another time. We'll sit down at the end and have a celebratory drink that we made it until next year, and then we fall down. <laughs> That's it, man. Family here is, is where it's at. Even for the guys and the girls that aren't family, our family here. You know, so it's good. We all love everybody around here. You feel like you're part of the family, which is you know wonderful. It definitely this industry is crazy and it's awesome to work in, you know, and it's exciting. You know, um, at this point in my life, I'm very blessed. I had a dream and I went for it and accomplished it, and I'm really happy about that. For now, we're good. We're happy with where we're at, um, but who knows what the future holds. That's it, that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got, man.